Alright, so today we're going to be looking at this very amazing plug. It's called the Sonoff. Okay, Sonoff. Okay, let's say you were um, very interested in controlling a space heater in your house. Okay, this is a, the uh, ideal plug for you. Okay, just make sure that your space heater, um, it would accept a 15 amp max general use so that's the only thing so make sure that it will support that um, I would I was using uh, these kind of like base floor heaters um, and yeah it was a 15 amp and so these turned out really good the thing is with these it shows the amps the voltage, I think the current. So you can monitor the power usage across time with these. So that's why they're so good. They're not just plugs, they're super smart plugs. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring this into Home Assistant. And then I'll show you how to hook it all up as this little series. This is one of the things I use to control all my uh, space heaters in the house um, in my kids room. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download a program called WeLink. It's a really sus program. It's called the e Link. So you'll get this plug, okay? and you'll bring it into WeLink. So you have to first plug it in, okay? Then you'll hit the plus box here, and it will show up. It'll ask you to connect to it, just like I've been connecting to everything else. There's no difference now. Um, if you are unsure about like things with home automation, just watch this series where I bring in all kinds of crazy stuff as I port over from a new system. So as I port this over from uh, Raspberry Pi over to an Odroid, what I did is I wanted to document, it, document all these weird things that I use on my network. And these are my favorite plugs. So um, all I do is have to first plug it in. Okay? And you can see it, it showed up. Now, getting it into this program is pretty easy. It is the other thing. So, um, usually if you just follow the directions what that came with your plug, it's easy to get it into this part. The next part is where it gets a little weird. So, we're going to hop over to Home Assistant. In one of the previous videos, a while back, I showed you how to install hacks. Okay, So I would watch that video if you are unsure on how to install hacks. And then we have hacks. We're going to go to Integrations, and we're going to go to Explore and Download, and we're going to look for one called S-O-N-O-Off-Land. So control Sonoff devices with WeLink Original Firmware over Land and Cloud from Home Assistant. Then hit download. And yeah, I want that one. Then I'm 
just going to back off one, and then it's going to say pending restart. So I'm going to do a little restart here. Go to system, go to restart, go to restart. All right, so now we're going to go into Home Assistant and import this code in. Uh, so your um, Xlink or E Weblink, the account that you made on your phone to get your little plugs in. You have a profile and then you used a, a password and a username. So that goes here. I did not put my password in just yet, but you're going to put your username as your email address. You're going to put your password in that you used and then the mode is local, reload always and the sensors is power, current, and voltage. Okay, uh, go ahead, I'm going to import my password, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to do another restart. All right, so when you restart, you're going to have a new thing under settings, integrations. You'll have this thing called Sunoff of two devices well if you have two switches got one for my son one for my daughter and they have this so it's got the current power and voltage nice right so these can be mapped out to um, gauges within your uh, home assistant so for example and I don't know which one this is this is switch one, but I have it in my hand, so I guess I can see if it turns on. Okay, this is not that, so this must be my daughter's, so this must be switch two. Oh, yep, this is switch two. Cool. Okay, cool. Now that I know it's switch two, I know this is my son's. So what I could do is I can show you how to add these uh, to the dashboard. So what I'm going to do is just add to the dashboard just this um, under Dexter's room. And I don't know if I could pick a multiple. That would be kind of cool, but I don't think they have that. So let's go with this. So here's the current in amperage. that graph type line yep units amperage yeah I want to do that Okay, so what that did is now I can go up here to Dexter's room and I have like one in here. So they got amperage, current, and voltage. Okay, so I just need to kind of straighten these out a little bit. Because um, I still have a lot of his entities that have to be ported over. And actually that works out good. This one... Uh, so voltage got it over here, just fine. Current and amperage.
cool. So I'm just gonna pop over this button, which is not in here yet, so I gotta go get that. Can I go to settings, integrations, sawn off, and I go to switch two, and I'll add this one to the dashboard. But really, this one I don't really want them to have access to. I'm going to have an automation, so come to think about it, I don't want to add this one. Energy. Energy? Oh, watts is power. Whoops. Yes. I'm going to copy this. So if you copy the end of the ID, oh, it's in watts. Okay, cool. And the reason I want these to be accurate is because before I destroyed this whole entire system and ported over to Odroid, um, I taught them these things. And there we go. Watts, voltage, and power. So when I go to click on this button to turn it on, it should, if it has a draw, be able to like show the current that's going through this. Okay, Right now I don't have anything to draw as far as current is concerned but it does work and just to kind of show you that I can go back to the other one let's go to settings integration sawn off devices and click on switch one. This one's actually hooked to a space heater right now. And so when I click on it, it instantly pops up the 120, but it looks like that one's completely like uh, toned down too. So it's not all the way hooked up. All right, sweet. Oh, there it is. Weird. All right. Well, still got work to do putting all the system back together. But that is how you bring in your Sonoff switches into Home Assistant. Easy as that. Best switches you can get. Really, to be honest with you, way better than these. Okay, this is uh, the Fiat brand because these don't have the energy monitoring capabilities that these do. I'll put a link to where you get these on the video. So, enjoy.